What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. I'm sorry, Sid. We were too late. The Imperials have already left. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. The boys from the garrison might still be nearby. Father, let's get you to a physical, shall we? I'm sorry. Oh, I think I twisted something. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But to culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Anything catch your eye? Right? Sold a lot already. Take care out there, eh? Oi, look sharp. Hey. about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? 
Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the Empire. This one. Farewell. Are we too late? There might still be someone in sight. No. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. I think so. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive.
the abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. Black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sin's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. Shall. Sin, where are you? Sin, in here. We found a survivor. Clive, he's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Riddick's jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. The Imperials of old would never have stooped so low as to defile a house of Grieka, nor slaughter a man of faith in cold blood. May their goddess have mercy on their souls. Fetch! <laughs> the fork to the drawbridge is back the way we came. It's where the abbot would have gone himself, had he not.
spotted us, Torgal? What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floaty eyeball. Help me, boy. Yeah. See that coming. That must be the bridge. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, 
and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Stop staying where we are for now, I reckon. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these Black Shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Poor souls died to give me a chance to save others. I won't let their sacrifice be in vain. <laughs> <laughs> 